Good day folks, I'm Bob Morgan. This is uh, Man Cave Creations presents Carver's Corner. Uh, we're sponsored by Bear Wood Supply Company and uh, dbxcutter.com and uh, today we're gonna do some work with this Marathon micro motor handset and I've been playing with it the past couple days and I absolutely love it. I really can't see where I'll be using my uh, flex shaft much. Um, I usually use two-handed die grinders, uh, so I don't even really need the quarter-inch feature of it, although I'm sure there will be times where it'll fit better. But in case of uh, one-eighth and under shaft, um, this thing's awesome. I have been having a lot of fun playing with it. Anyway, so we're going to work on my eagle. Uh, just got the glue up done the other day, put the branches on. Um, he's supposed to look like he's coming in with his feet out ready to set down on the branch. It'll be mounted to a 12 foot burl log that uh, is mounted on the back corner of my deck and we're going to make a real interesting uh, log kind of uh, themed, burl themed deck um, with birds and a bear. Uh, I think we're going to integrate an owl and uh, and we're definitely going to have a climbing bear, and uh, which leads me to that will be my first uh, entire demo from start to finish. I'm going to show how to easily chainsaw carve a bear in a climbing position. And uh, we'll try to do it with, uh, with a saw and a grinder and some type of rotary tool for facial detail. And that way if you have those tools or can get those tools, and if you follow the steps, you should be able to uh, do what I did. So anyways, um, today, we're, uh, I'm just wrapping up. I had the saber tooth, uh, three eighths roto saw in there. And uh, we'll be getting some more aggressive burrs from, from Bear Woods. And, uh, you know, you get the look you get with saber tooth. Eh? These other burrs cut cleaner. And, uh, and I'm hoping that we will uh, we'll be able to you know, get a cleaner product with those type of burrs uh, right off the hop. Anyways, so as you've seen, and actually I should have showed you that, folks, I'm sorry about that. Um, so this, you know, I was just using it, and that's fully locked in. So you grab it here, twist, remove that one, put it in its desired slot. We're dropping a collet size. And... Uh, so that burr was in here because I tend to like to carve with edges. Um, so now we're going to use this knife edge cutter and we're going to carry on, but we're going to try to get sharper, crisper lines, really liven up the eyes, do some facial detail and uh, see if we can't, you know, make them look more like an eagle. Um, it is stylized. I mean, obviously look at the, the feathering and stuff like that, but, uh, you know, the face, if we get a really good face, it'll make it pop. Anyways, so, um, yeah, a really easy installation of the burrs. Let's get started on this. So we're going to do uh, this, which is a, I think it's carbide, uh, knife edge cutter, very sharp. Um, and then we're going to move on to a diamond inverted cone. And then we're going to do a diamond knife edge cutter. And we're going to see if we can't make the space come alive a little bit. All right, let's get going. Now, this one can be set up to be ran with just a switch and or a foot pedal, which I could click. Um, I'm just going to find it easier not to have to worry about it. And then I can just move around. My, uh, my tool is in a good position and I feel safe with it there. So let's go. Now it can slow right down to just barely moving. And the max speed I do believe is 35,000. So it moves pretty fast. All right, let's just see. And I really apologize folks if there's ever time you can't see what I'm doing. I will try and we'll move this around. But I'm guess working from here then guys. Okay, so. If we just kind of lay that in there. And get a way sharper, way cleaner edge. 
We'll put our little nostril full in there. So we're just trying to get that nice feathered look in his face and we're doing that by making little W patterns starting and working back but also keeping it random I find is uh, very key when you're doing this and uh, there you go. Try to do a better job for you guys on that stuff. Okay, yeah. So, just want to make it look like it's more three dimensional. Than just having a bunch of scrapes and lines. So, that's why I find doing it uh, randomly is helpful. And you don't forget that ridge that the eagle has there. And let's put that detail in there and get some shape to that beak. Okay, now we should be able to undercut very nicely with this, and I apologize if I get in the way here, but I've got to be able to look up, so...
Like this thing is biting deep and that's pretty cool. It just goes. It's great. This is a great thing for muzzle hair. This is going to be great for a lot of things. I just love the way it undercuts a nice sharp edge in. Lots of cool burr. Okay. Well, let me show you what we got so far. And uh, and then we're gonna play with uh, that cone. So pop that one out real quick. Pop that one in. This is the diamond inverted cone. And uh, we're just gonna do some real nice cleanup and uh, see what we can do with this one. Now I've used diamond burrs before. I don't have this one until. Uh, Bear Woods gave it to me to show you, so uh, it's uh, guesswork for me, but I think it'll, you know, the, it's got the safety face, so we should be able to roll it over the eye and just like kind of plane out those rough edges, and then we should be able to use it to get rid of some of these other rough edges and make a more natural look. So let's give her a day in court. Great little sander. Okay, for getting out rough details, rough edges, and getting deep into details. A little too fast, I would say. I think this might be the largest radius diamond burr I've ever used, so... Teeth in our lines, sticking with a kind of movement and a back and forth while making a W pattern. And we'll just deepen those lines up, give them more character, make rows out of them. We'll push a little hard there, and we do have it turned down, but. If we wanted to, we could haul through this on a higher speed, but we don't. Anyway, let me just show you what that has now done. I'll give you a little bit more here. Sorry if I'm blocking what I'm doing, both. I really am trying my best, and uh, we'll get another person filming and. You'll see a little better what we're doing. Okay, let's uh, shut that down and get ready for the next one, which is the knife uh, diamond burr. And uh, I guess I should just check this and make sure you guys are getting a little bit of a look and see at what we've since done. It doesn't look quite so much like a duck anymore, but we will shrink that bill a bit. But he's starting to get an actual eagle's type face, which is good. I'll try to position this so you guys can have a better view of it while I'm doing it. 
But for the most part, I'm uh, almost ready to have to make the other side look similar. But we're going to try this one out. This little cutter, diamond, and, uh, and see what we think of it. And with this, we should be able to, because it does not have a safety face, we should be able to just smooth out and sand nice and easily while using the edge. Okay. to clean up and sand away anything rough. Don't mind me if I'm a little shaky, folks. I've been on cortical steroids lately for uh, stomach issues, so it makes me a little bit vibrating. It's not the bed, it's me. <laughs> All right, so let's just give you a final view of that after we've used those uh, burrs, and uh, we'll make another video of me using uh, of me using some of the smaller ones to uh, get the eye in there and uh, I'll show you more about what this looks like when it's done. All right, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, I'm Bob Morgan. Uh, all the tools we used here were uh, furnished by Bearwood Supply Company and uh, they have a site in, in the States and uh, they have a site in Canada. It's Woodpart CA. So look up the Bearwood Supply Company. I'll provide links in the description. And, uh, and I really hope that you guys will uh, spend a little money their way and make me look good. <laughs> um, I guess tell them Bob sent you. And uh, I think there will be an upcoming code, I'm not sure, that might get you a discount. So let's, uh, let's hope that becomes a reality. Um, so this is the Marathon Micromotor. It's... Uh, 249 Canadian, 179 American, and it's a hell of a tool, and uh, I'm in love with it. I think it's fantastic, and uh, it, uh, it's so lightweight, so easy to handle. It's like having a felt pen in your hand, and uh, I can't I can't say enough about it. So, I'm uh, sorry I'm a lousy cameraman. Um, hope the free lessons make up for it, and uh, we'll see you next time in the man cave.